Botanica travels all around the world. Wherever there's something interesting botanically happening, we will have a tour. So Europe is a hot spot for us, as well as Asia, South America, Africa, and of course, Australia and New Zealand. With Botanica, you can expect to travel with a range of different vehicles. So by coach, by small ship river cruising, by small ship coastal cruising and even canal boats. Some of the highlights of traveling in Asia is going to see Singapore during the Garden Festival time. It is an absolutely fantastic event, which is very different to anywhere else in the world. The other highlights is going to Japan during the cherry blossom season. It's such a special time of the year to visit Japan with so many festivities and events that really capture everyone's imagination there. Travelling in Europe with Botanica is a real highlight for so many people. The gardens of Europe, they are where so many of our garden designers take their inspiration from today. All of the great gardens really have originated in this destination. So some of the places that are highlights for people to gain this inspiration is going to Chelsea Flower Show, but seeing classics such as uh, Vita Sackville West's White Garden at Sissinghurst going to Monet's garden, which is just so iconic, but then seeing those fields of tulips in the Netherlands in the springtime. In North America, we visit the Grand Gardens of Canada and the USA. We will always travel during the fall time when those beautiful autumn leaves are on full display. We are so lucky in Australia and New Zealand that we have such a vast array of climates and topography. When you go up north, you can see the tropical plants of Queensland and then to the cool climate gardens of Victoria. But we also have such wonderful things like the wildflowers blooming in Western Australia, Victoria, all over Australia really. And uh, also being able to visit private gardens, that's a real highlight for people. Some of the best private gardens that we visit in Australia are actually owned by our botanical guides. So we visit the gardens of Sophie Thompson, Simon Rickard, uh, Judy Horton. It's just wonderful for our botanical guides to be able to show the travellers their own space.